our brief was to do a full body makeup. We were allowed to choose any film we wanted to do. I chose Alice in Wonderland. But before I looked into the film, I wanted to look at other people's body art and do a bit of research into that and the artist. This woman's work really stood out to me. All the vibrant colours and the patterns, I really liked it. I looked at different techniques such as brush, sponge and airbrush. I decided I wanted to do the card from the Alice in Wonderland film. I looked into different patterns and costumes and makeup and put it into a mood board. We were given a demonstration by our teacher on how to apply the product and create different textures. I then did it on my arm and tried to get a flower-like texture. It's all about building on top and adding detail. I decided to play around with the colours and see what I could make. I looked into different patterns for cards. I decided to do something crazy. I was going to do Mendy all over the legs and the arms and make a dress. Did make two other designs but they didn't stand out as much to me as the Mendy did. I wanted to stick to the colours a queen card has, such as yellow, red, blue and black. I also experimented by adding glitter gel. I quite like the effect it has, it stands out much better. I also did my research and found a coloured Mendy that apparently has no amino, no PPD, but I would recommend a skin test if you were to use it. Now it's quite expensive, so I bought a skirt for a pound from a warehouse. I made a template and cut out clovers and spades out of the black velvet. I also bought some red velvet trousers for a pound. I cut some red hearts and diamonds out of the velvet. I drew out a pattern for the top. I got some cotton bias binding and I pinned it onto the arms and neck to neaten. I then cut out the skirt. Sorry about the lighting, I will link a video down below which shows a similar dress. I also added bias binding onto the bottom of the skirt to neaten. As you can see here, I have applied it to the armholes and the neckline. I sewed it down and then flipped the bias binding around to create a neat finish. If 
for some reason, my machine decided it wanted to roll up balls of cotton. Tada! I attached the top to the skirt and the dress was made. Not yet. It was time to sew all the velvet patches I had cut out onto the dress. Time to do a makeup test. I applied Crayolan Super Colour White all around my face. Then applied Crayolan TL1 powder to set the Super Colour. I used Crayolan Aqua Colour in the colour black to make suits such as spades and clovers onto my face. I also used aqua colour in red on my lips and the red dots. I also filled my eyebrows in with aqua colour and did a dramatic flick eyeliner with the aqua colour. Time to start the full body painting. Unfortunately I didn't get a video of me doing the makeup as I forgot my card to put into the camera but I basically did a simple flawless face with foundation. I didn't do the white super colour in the end because I felt like it didn't go with what I wanted to do. I kept it quite simple with the makeup so I did flick eyeliner with eyelashes and some of the suits on the side of the face. I also attached some cards to the hair 